Now, there was a, a previous speaker, she had a positive medical experience with NFTA. I'm sorry to say I didn't have that. About two years ago, I had to eat on the train because I'm diabetic. And he kicked me off the train, even though twice I told him I was a diabetic. But I'm also a responsible person. That's why I take the bus. Because morally, it is better for me to be on the bus and have a low blood sugar element happen than to be out there driving on the road and hurt, hurt myself or possibly someone else. Responsible, not just financially, but morally. I tell you, what you take me off the, off the train? That's a different subject. But people depend on the bus. My two main routes, the number 11 and the number 8, you're planning to cut. As you can see, I walk with a cane, but yet I'm still here. I take that number 8 to work downtown. It drops me off door to door. You cut that out. I have to walk further. Or I take the number, if I can't take the number 11 home, I have to wait for the 25. When you made those cuts back in October 2010, I live in Rapunzel, and I have to walk all the way down to catch the 25. It's not that far, but with the cane and bad weather, it is not easy. I don't appreciate it, and sure a lot of people have to have worse difficulty than I did to do this. Keep these buses running. I don't care if you raise the rates. I need to keep my job. I need to keep my independence. And believe it or not, because friends know why I don't drive, because I want to be safe, keep myself safe and others safe, they're willing to take me anywhere I need to go. But I don't want to burden them. My life is not their burden. My life and my disabilities and my illness is mine to bear. I'm trying to do it as responsible as possible, and I do not appreciate you cutting these services out, making it hard for me and everyone else out there. Again, remember, we are not fair boxes or just cash. We are human beings. Thank you.